of Crystal Souls and Stuff.com and on Instagram. Welcome to the channel today. So today I wanted to pop in and share with you two makes that I've made recently. So the first thing I wanted to share with you is the Janelle skirt. And this is a wonderful pattern by Style So Me Patterns. I'm Erin Shields of Style So Me Patterns. And it is a pencil skirt design. And the de defining feature of this pattern is this cute thigh high slit in the front. So there aren't a lot of pattern pieces to this pattern. So you have your right front pattern piece your left front pattern piece, and then your back piece cut twice, and then the waistband. So that's it for the pattern pieces. So one, two, three, four, so four pattern pieces, not too many pattern pieces. And then it was only 26 pages to tape together if you wanted to tape the pattern. Um, and it's also available in copy, copy shop, AO size, in case you want to send it out um, to a pattern company like PDF Plotting. But I taped it. <laughs> Actually, I taped it a while ago. So it's only 26 pages to um, print out. And the pattern is available in sizes um, extra, extra small to extra, extra large. And it's designed for hips of, oh, <laughs> above. it's designed for hips of 33 inches up to 52 inch hips. So really good size range on the pattern. And it's available, available for $10. Um, on stylesomeat.com. So, the fabric that I use is this nice stretch cotton sateen from Move Fabrics. It's a lovely giraffe print. And um, I love the, 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 just the shapes up on it. It has just a really nice print of a giraffe. I think it's, I, I'll put the long name for it, but it's not available anymore. Um, it was available for a limited time from move but they have a lot of nice stretch cotton sateen so i'll leave a link to um the move move fabrics stretch cotton sateens um but you can also sew this up in a denim or any kind of mid-weight woven fabric okay so the next pattern i wanted to share with you is the carry purse and the carry purse is a pattern made by robin andrea here on YouTube as well as on, she just started a YouTube channel and she's also on Instagram and she has a blog and I'll leave a link to her pattern and to her blog and YouTube as well in the description box for you to check it out. So this is her first pattern and this is a cute purse pattern. And it has, it, it's just a little purse that you could just carry with you um, going out and, it's, and it goes perfectly. You can, it is made out of woven fabrics. You can even make it out of, I use this same cotton sateen that I use for the skirt, but you can also make it in denim and she has directions for how to make it in like a, a velvet or something um, less structured. You can also use it with something less structured. So it is um, fully lined and it does fit your purse. So I put my purse, my phone in here to show you. It does fit your phone in the purse and so it is fully lined so i lined it i'm outside with chris and um so you'll hear him playing out here so anyway it's fully lined i use this nice ankara print because she said to use a darker print on the inside of the purse so pr to prevent staining and stuff so if you put a pin or a lipstick or something in there and it flies free it won't stain up your purse so i thought that was a great idea because i was going to use muslin at first um, until I read the directions. So, and it closes, anyway, let me go on. It closes with a magnetic snap. And I just happen to have one in my stash. I think I picked it up in like one of those button zipper bags that I picked up from the thrift store. So, but it closes with a nice magnetic closure. The insides are, um, you had to use fleece interfacing on the sides of the purse. And then you just you use a little bit of regular in interfacing for the magnetic closure. And she also says that you can use a regular snap closure if you don't have a magnetic closure. Because that's what I didn't, I, I was like, I thought I had one. So I dug and dug and I found this one. But I do have some snap closures if I want to make this and make another one of these. And it's really easy. There are only a few pattern pieces. You just have your front body the body part so you cut that twice and then you have the um the, the lower part 
and that's just one long strip and then you have the same pattern pieces you have the lining pieces so you have your inner lining pieces and then the, um, and that's cut out twice and then your center lining piece and it's finished you put the lining in so you create the lining per the direction so basically you just attach the two sides to the middle section and then you do the same thing that for the lining and then you do the same thing for the outer part um, and then you uh, insert your lining and then you slip stitch the lining all the way around to attach the lining to the purse so really simple um, the ties there are like three sections for the ties you have your outer lining which is longer and then you have um, you cut out another piece in the ties a little bit shorter for the inside because it shows so that way you don't have the um, white part showing of your fabric so I like the way this is finished right here so you get to see the same fabric on the front and the back um, and I think that's it I didn't I didn't make any changes to the pattern except the only thing that I did was I did tack down the corners really quickly with a zigzag stitch right here so really easy pattern it only took me about a about an hour and a half maybe to sew this up um, it just took I mean it took a little bit longer to slip stitch but that still only took like 20 15 minutes or so watching the show the slip stitch this little lining in so i highly recommend this pattern and it's available for nine dollars on um her website so really easy pattern and you can whip this up and make it i think this would be great for gifts so i'll leave a link to the description box below because you probably have scraps and stuff and she she mentions that okay so i think this pattern would be as i was saying i think this pattern was would be great for gifts you can definitely whip this up really quickly i could see making a whole bunch if you want to um use it for any holiday or birthday gifts this would be perfect to um match anything and then whenever you're going out you can if you need a you don't have a bag in your outfit you know a bag to match your outfit you can just make a little quick bag really really easy and i'm sure i mean you probably have everything you need for this in the um in your in your sewing room so the only thing you might have to get is the is the fusible fleece and you can also use sewing interfacing as well if you don't have fusible fleece or probably just muslin to just give the bag a little bit more stability so i really enjoyed making this cute little bag and um i, I picked up this pattern after seeing kira's version she did a nice animal print version um, on Instagram and I'll leave a link to her bag in the description box below so you can check out her version of the carry purse so that is my review of the Janelle skirt and the carry purse I hope you get a chance to check out these two wonderful patterns um, by black owned pattern companies um, so if you can go ahead and check them out and check out um, the tutorial for the Janelle skirt as well as the styles and seams channel and i believe um robin is coming out with a new uh fat uh clothing design line for tall women because she's very very tall she's like six one and i'm five one so she's like a foot taller than me but um i believe she's coming out on her website she says she's coming out with a new pattern line for tall women so go ahead and check out her her um her blog and check out her youtube channel for more information on that so here are some pics and twirls of me wearing this, um, these two pieces together. watching and tuning in today i really appreciate you tuning in thank you so much until next time have a great day